what is name range and how to use it in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a name range, how we can delete it, how we can edit it, why you should use it and what actually is name range. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> name range is naming a range okay you can name a single cell or you can name a data range okay whenever you select a data range in the name box this is called the name box here we have the first cell of that data range and it's c2 here in this case but if we change the name of this data range we can do that and that is naming a range you can also name a single cell if you click here you can see it says f2 but you can also change the name this is called the name range why you should use it there are different ways you can use name range and some of the greatest feature of naming a range you can use it inside any formula you can go to their selection through name range and also you can use it inside a drop down list okay this is really interesting and you should learn it now let's start by naming a single cell okay here in f2 we have tax rate which is eight percent whenever we select that cell here in the name box it says f2 but if you click here and if you can write tax rate here by remember you can either use underscore or you will have to use single word you cannot use spaces inside any name range okay i'm going to use underscore tax underscore rate and if i press enter you can see this cell has a name and it's tax rate okay you understand what is name range right naming a range so select here and if you select the cell again here you can see the name has been changed which is tax rate now as i said you can use it to reference or directly go to that cell go back to our first worksheet and here if i click on the name box drop down list you can see our tax rate name is already here if i click here you can see we went back to that cell okay you can use it like this again let's say we're going to delete this name range click on formula and here you can find name manager select it and you can simply delete it if you want to change the data range you can do that also from here so now let's delete the name range i'm going to click delete and here the name range has been deleted now if i select this cell you can see the name is not here if i click on this drop down no name found now you can create name ranges from formulas to name manager also select the cell click on name manager and here you can find new and you can write tax rate and this is the cell okay we can also create name range from there so select the cell go to name manager and create new and selected cell and if i click ok you can see total cell so if i click here the name is total cell now let's learn how you can use the name range inside a formula so we have two name range here one is total cell and another is tax rate so if i write here equal to then let's write total cell you can see here our name manager suggests the total cell name range if i click on tab our name range is selected let's press here into and we are going to write tax rate here. so this is our tax rate name range and if I press enter you can see our tax has been calculated and if I check in the formula it says total sales into tax rate so it's easy to understand easy to use okay another use in the drop down list in a future video I will show you how you can do it okay now let's create a name range with multiple cells okay so select the cells here we have income and expense and in the name box we are going to write category press enter and you can see our our name range category here if I click here our tax rate cell has been here our total cell is here let's create another name range here name manager create new and we are going to write income if I click ok from the name manager go to income and this is selected category this is the category name range this is the income let's do that for the expense also select it name manager create new and it has cost of sales already selected let's do that click ok so this is our cost of sales name range but I want to rename this name range how we can do that go to name manager select the name you want to edit and then click here edit you can change it from here I'm going to change it to expense 
if I click OK, you can see our name range is ready. Now delete this too. OK, now close it. So this is how you can create a name range and you can use name range in different places. OK, now if I enter any cell here or enter any value here, let's say this is our new value. If I press enter, it doesn't include in our name range. If I select our income name range, you can see this is not included. So whenever you need this type of things that you enter a new item inside your data range and the name range auto update it's called the dynamic name range and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic name range okay this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching